Hey everybody, we made it to Dutch Harbor, Alaska. First time ever in Alaska. Absolutely beautiful here. It's starting to get, the sun's starting to come out. You see up there. Just waiting for us to get hooked up to shore so we could actually get off the boat. They've arranged shuttles for us to take us from this harbor to Safeway. So apparently this Safeway apparently has everything you think of. That's where most of the crew will go and restock on supplies for themselves. So yeah, that's our first stop in Alaska, Safeway. But it is absolutely beautiful here. Cold, a little bit of rain. But the mountains, like none other. And maybe on this trip I'll be able to find a bear, or a beaver, or something Alaskan. They're hooking us up right now, so we get off the ship. It's gonna take a few minutes. I'm waiting for my next adventure to be RVing through Alaska. Three months through Canada, through Alaska, and back through Canada, back to the US. It would be totally amazing. I'm hoping the weather stays like it is right now. The rain seems to have stopped. Here in Alaska for the very first time, freezing our little hands off. Didn't wear the proper jackets, but we manage. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, we have touched ground. So I have now can safely say that I have made it to Alaska. Hey, Jorge, awesome, awesome. <laughs> He's our entertainer, our coordinator. So we were in line for the buses, but apparently it's going to be a little while before they get drop those people off and come back. We're going to do the walking You're now. You're going to walk it? All right. Jorge, cruise director. Awesome guy. Awesome guy. <laughs> Have fun. Thanks. It's one road. You can't get lost. It makes it easy. Thank you. All right, guys. Oh, he's awesome. So, we are basically decided to do the walk. It's about a mile and a half or something like that, they said. So we said, why not? By the time they get those buses empty, come back to pick up the next set of people, we might be on the third bus or third set of buses. So it'll probably be 30 minutes before we even get to town, or 40. We could walk it by then. And heck, I'm out of breath already. And I just got off the ship like two seconds ago. It's all that eating. No exercise. Constant eating. What else do you do on a cruise? Shows, eat, shows, eat. But I figured now we get to go see some scenery. And see the ship in the background, the Amsterdam. The MS Amsterdam, because there's two Amsterdams. The other one's like newer. It's the name newer, N-E-I-U. So this is a great way to see some scenery on the way. First time in Alaska, might as well enjoy it better than sitting in a bus and not getting to stop and take pictures. out here but it's still early in the morning the rain a couple drops every so often not bad I'm hoping that there's no weather related problems while we're out here just the cold 
we are here at the visitor center, but it looks like it's closed right now, but it is still early. Talks about the Aleutian World War II National Historic Area. So I think there's a little museum in there. We'll try to get to that a little bit later. Alaskan firefighters. Awesome. backing up into their house. We're almost in town. Got just basically this one road that takes you from the shuttle or the cruise terminal past the airport right here to the middle of town Safeway. And you got this cool little, I don't know what that is, but it's almost like one of those bunkers for them to shoot out and get some protection so that was kind of cool tiny when you're up close to it it looks much tinier than when you see in the movies and pictures but it could be just this one lots of ducks and birds and no grizzly bears yet and you can see a mount a little Way down there, there's a little house by itself on that little island. And gas looks just as expensive as it does in California. It has diesel, 399, which is about the same roughly in California, most places. But the gas, here the gas will kill you. Four dollars and thirty cents. So, since it's a heavy population of trucks, those people that have the little tiny cars here, they're gonna have a quite a time paying for that gas at four thirty. But we have made it to Safeway. Right in the background. Now Safeway. Normally is a grocery store. I see them a lot all over California. And here's pretty much where the crews will drop you off with the shuttle right in front of the Safeway. So good business for them. <laughs> First time in this will be day six. Because the past five days we've been on the water. We made Safeway and pretty much everybody behind me is using the Wi-Fi to contact their families, friends, do some business. So, Verizon doesn't seem to work here, so I might have to see about the Wi-Fi here. I'm gonna shop a little bit. Give a minute. So the prices here are totally higher than in California. 12 pack of cans, $9.99. Milk, $5.25. It's so a little bit higher, but I figure since they have to ship everything in to this area, everything's going to be a little bit more expensive. Otherwise, it's a nice, clean, safe way. Now, I'm hoping $34.29 is not a true price for a 24 pack of water. Because otherwise, this water is very expensive for a 24 count. This one's $27.99 for a 21 count. Here at the Norwegian Rat Saloon. In the background you have all the captains of Deadliest Catch hanging. Apparently they come here a lot. Ordered some food. Apparently we're gonna get some king crab. And enjoy the views. King crab is the choice here. So just finishing some king crab here in Dutch Harbor, Alaska. Still raining, but at least it's not cold. You know, I have three layers of coats on. So that's where we're just finishing the king crab at the Norwegian Rat Saloon. It's pretty much right here in the center of town where the cruise ship drops you off by the Safeway down the street. 
Otherwise, there is truly not that much to do here in Dutch Harbor. And I talked to some of the locals here, and they all, um, some of the locals that were around my age asked them, what do you do for fun here? And pretty much it's hang out, may go to the bar, but basically just a lot of outdoor type stuff, fish and, but otherwise there's not much here. If any medical emergency happened, they ship everybody over to Anchorage for the hospital there, because right here it's just a clinic, otherwise no major hospital here. But, it's personally a lot of young people, but, Not much to do here, but still absolutely beautiful. So, they got that going for them. Bald Eagle right there. Where's the other one? What? You said you saw two? No, I don't think I saw one. Oh, there's one all the way down yonder. Is that, what is that really one? Or is and it then there's a bald eagle there. And a bald eagle there. So apparently this visitor center is open from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. today. It talks about World War II. So just finished with the museum. It's about $4 to get in, free if you're a veteran. Pretty cool, interesting stuff, learning about the island, World War II, and those little bunkers that we saw earlier, apparently they were called pill boxes. That's where the machine guns would go in there, the turrets, and be protected. Right now, weather's cleared up, no rain. It became an absolutely gorgeous day. You see the ship in the background, heading there now. It's Alaska, it's great.